Hey folks, so this is just a demonstration video on how to sync multiple DAWs uh, using MIDI timecode on a Mac computer here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Pro Tools as our master clock and um, that is then going to send the MIDI timecode to uh, Logic, Reaper and Ableton Live 11. So um, yeah, just the main thing I suppose with this is that it is a tutorial for Mac and we will be using the IAC driver which is a unique tool on the Mac OS as opposed to something that can be used on a Windows computer. Uh, you're looking at getting something third party for that. So um, yeah, so the first thing you want to do anyway is you want to go to your uh, audio MIDI setup. So you'd open up this little keyboard icon if you can see it on mine. Um, if you're not able to find it, just go to the uh, spotlight here, type in audio MIDI setup and it should be the first thing you get there. Um, when you open it, it looks a little bit like this guy. And uh, now I've a, I've a load of different things in here that you won't necessarily have. So what you want to do here is you want to go to um the MIDI studio here, right? So don't don't really mind any of this stuff here. Go to window. Go to in my case it says hide MIDI studio. So if I click that, it'll hide what I had open already. So we'll just go to show MIDI studio. And now we have this, right? Now, these are all the MIDI devices that are currently connected to my computer um, over USB predominantly. So uh, as you can see, one of them is called IAC driver. So basically, this is what's called a virtual MIDI bus. So it's uh, it's internal. It's not something that's, you know, cabled or anything like that. It's a, it's a bus, i.e. a pathway that we can send MIDI data across within my computer from uh, application to application. So whatever you decide. So um, you should have that there by default anyway. And um, from that, then what we'll do is we will just set the settings correctly in Pro Tools and then our respective DAWs after. So as I said, Pro Tools is our uh, master clock. So to basically get this going, the main kind of screen and setting within um, Pro Tools is in our peripherals section. So if we go to setup, go to peripherals, uh, drop this down. And you'll see we have our just different options in here. Now, what we want to do here is we want to generate MIDI timecode within Pro Tools. So we want to generate just a syncing just method here, right? So MIDI timecode is, is that, and it's going to be sent across our virtual MIDI bus or our IAC driver, um, the bus one. So it's just the first channel. So that's that's all well and good. Um, what you want to do to get this going then, like after you've set it correctly, is just hit OK. Um, and this is the guy that's, this is important. So if you right click up here, anywhere along this section, you'll be able to just enable or disable certain um, elements of say your transport window, right? And, and the other features that they allow to have open on this exact area. So what I would turn on here is uh, synchronization, right? So if I just disable that, you see that section's just disappeared. So we want synchronization there. Now, what we want to do is enable MIDI timecode. So just, just highlight that. So off, on, that's it. That's all you need to do, right? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get, get, uh, get say, Logic receiving this MIDI timecode now, right? So I'm just going to close this. Don't need it anymore. Bring up Logic. Now, the couple of things with Logic that you need to be wary of here is it's not quite ready to go. Um, same with Pro Tools where we had to go to our peripheral section, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Logic up here in the top left, go to our, uh, we'll just go to our general preferences here, right? Now, first thing you need to do is you need to go to Advanced, right? And then you need to go Show Advanced Tools. Okay, now you can see that's changed what our preferences window looks like. So there's loads of different stuff here now, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to just have a look and see what we can find in, uh, first of all, we go to MIDI. Okay, now we need to go to our Inputs. Okay, so we have our IAC driver bus one turned on. So let's just check sync here. That's grand. This is only if we need to um, adjust our for latency, this kind of thing. So once we have the IAC driver bus one turned on, that means that um, Logic can receive MIDI timecode from anywhere that's sending it along the driver, uh, the IAC driver bus, right? So to get this kind of going then, um, what we want to do is go back out to this uh, just start, so close your preferences 
you'll see this icon here. Now you may not see this, right? So again, what you need to do, similar to what we did in Pro Tools, is just right click anywhere along here and then just go to Customize Control Bar and Display. Now it gives us all the options of things we can turn on. So what we want to turn on is Sync. So if I turn that, you see it just disappears. It's just there, okay? Um, so you want to right click that and then I've set it automatically already to SIMT Sync or MTC, which corresponds to our MTC up here, which stands for MIDI timecode, right? So I'm now saying that if I have my, uh, if I press play on Pro Tools, it will start playing what happens, uh, or just my project that I've currently open in Logic, right? So I'm just going to bring this guy down here. Now, if I click on Pro Tools again, as you can see there, we're playing along, our playhead is moving and it's started to move in Logic as well. Okay, and if I hit stop, you'll see that Logic stops as well. That's it, okay. Press play, they're both playing. Press stop, they're both stopped, that's it. Okay, so that's that's uh, Pro Tools and Logic going. Next one is Reaper. So Reaper is a bit, bit more preferency so again go up to our reaper preferences and bring this guy over now what you want to do is you want to find so you're going to be on the left hand side here and you're going to go on to go to the midi devices section there so just follow that exact drop down there for audio now in here again it's showing all of my current midi devices that i have these are a combination of hardware and say virtual similar to iac driver they're um yeah, just multiple different types of devices. So what we want to do is we want to turn on MIDI in and you don't really need the control, but what I'll do is I'll just turn on enable input there. Um, I just have enable input for control messages on as well. Now, I don't need to have this on in my output at all because I am sending MIDI into Reaper, but I don't need that MIDI to travel through Reaper or go somewhere else, uh, say via Reaper. Um, I'm just outputting it from Pro Tools and then I'm setting all these just these different inputs elsewhere. So if I have it set to output this somewhere else, it's it's not going to do anything. Um, it doesn't matter. It shouldn't be on really, but that's, that's all you need to do um, to get these going. So right click, enable input enable for control whatever you want um it's just to make sure that you have the input on anyway and click ok there and the next thing you want to do is you want to go to your play button on reaper right click it and then enable synchronization to time code that's that's the big one so now you'll see that this has become a play symbol with a uh, a lock kind of symbol beside it now the uh, significance here is that it will only be now started the pro like playback will only begin from an external uh trigger or a sync source so midi timecode from pro tools being that in this case so now if i was to press play here on pro tools we should see the project in reaper going as well so let's press play and as you can see a bit of a lag there but uh she's going that's playhead just scrolling along there so yeah, so now if I stop Pro Tools, it stops Reaper, okay? Now the cool thing here is that in doing that, we have not affected what's going on in Logic at all. So if I press play on Pro Tools, we should then play what's happening in Reaper and in Logic at the same time. So let's just have a quick look at that. So press play, Logic starts, Reaper starts, everything's up and going. Then if I press the stop button here, that's it. Everything stopped. So the last um, piece of the puzzle here really is uh, Ableton. So I'll just bring up this Ableton project. Now, a couple of things. So you won't see that EXT option upon opening this. So what you want to do is you want to go to your preferences. A couple of things you need to do here, right? The first thing is you need to enable the IAC driver on the input. So we would have done this on Reaper already and we would have done it on Logic as well. Go to your MIDI preferences on various dolls, go to the input section on it and then turn on sync. So IAC driver is on sync there automatically. So if I untick this, then you'll see the EXT option up here disappears. So if I don't have anything uh, uh, like enabled for an input MIDI in for sync, then that option just doesn't appear. So when I turn this on, it appears then, right? Now by default, it enables MIDI clock, so not MIDI timecode. And 
that unfortunately will not get our kind of clock sync enabled it just needs to be set to midi time code right um so yeah so i set this to midi time code so again to drop that down there that's how you get that option and um yeah that's that's pretty much it so at this point now if i press play on pro tools oh actually sorry you need to enable ex external sync basically um highlight that so now if i press play on any of uh well on, on pro tools then the rest of my dolls should all start as well so um let's just bring this guy over here okay so we're watching out for playheads bar counters that kind of stuff and let us just see here press play there you go so reaper starts as you can see it's there going along ableton is going along as well playhead logic is going along there as well and then if i press stop on pro tools we should get all of them stopping at the same time and they do and that's it so that's how you sync those four DAWs on a mac um with pro tools as the master clock reaper ableton and logic all as slaves and uh yeah best of luck and enjoy